Slide nine, a coin is placed 29 centimeters from the center of a horizontal turntable initially at rest. So I'm gonna draw a circle. Imagine we're looking down on top of this spinning circle. Here's my coin. I'm drawing it right here. And this coin is a distance R value of 29 centimeters. We will convert. This is 0 0.29 meters. So whatever they give you in centimeters, divide by 100, it'll go into meters. <clears throat> the turntable begins to rotate when the speed of the coin is 120 centimeters per second. This speed that they're giving you, this is your tangential velocity, V tangential. You need to divide this by 100 to convert it to meters per second. So that's 1.20 meters per second. This coin is just going to begin to slip. Oh, the acceleration of gravity is 980 centimeters per second squared. Whoops, I already converted, so whatever. We're going to use G is 9.8. I went ahead and converted everything to meters per second squared, so or meters, so whatever. We're just going to use G as 9.8. What is the coefficient of static friction between the coin and the turntable? We are looking for static friction. What is mu sub s? Question mark. That's what we're going to solve for. Okay, take away from this. The coin slips. Coin starts to slip. when the centripetal force needed to keep the coin, keep the coin traveling in a circle. Equals the force of friction. As the coin spins faster and faster, that requires more centripetal force keep the coin on the circular path. If the centripetal force needed to keep the, the coin on the circular path or on the spinning uh, turntable exceeds the amount of friction that is provided by the surface of the coin and the surface of the table, then the coin flies off and the direction the coin flies off is in a straight line along the tangential velocity vector. So it'll go like choo, sideways off the off the spinning table. So I'm going to put this statement into an equation. When the centripetal force becomes equal to the force of friction, that's when the coin slips off. Centripetal force, there's not really an equation provided, but they do give you centripetal acceleration. Force is mass times, and in this case, our acceleration will be centripetal acceleration. And we set that equal to the equation for the force of friction. This is static friction, mu sub s times m times g. So you can see the mass of the coin cancels out. I'm now going to replace centripetal acceleration with its equation provided in the data or the equation sheet. It says a sub c is v squared over r. And you set that equal to mu sub s times g. We're looking for mu sub s, so I'm going to divide both, both sides by g. v squared over r times g. This equals mu sub s. So now we can plug in. The v squared in this case is going to be 1.20 squared. I converted my centimeters per second to meters per second. The radius is 0 0.29, and the acceleration of gravity is 9.8. You're careful with using parentheses. You should get the right answer. Thanks for watching. Study well.